For the troops serving in Vietnam, the threat of danger never let up. Night patrols were often ambushed, and Stone later used his first experience of coming under attack in platoon. In the movie, the character Junior falls asleep. But in reality, it was Oliver Stone himself who drifted off when he should have been on watch. I did fall asleep. I probably dozed off, and I probably, it could have been five minutes, it could have been, I don't know. When I woke up, or when I, know, I became sentient, I saw these guys about 200 yards across the paddy coming towards us. My very first uh, impression, and I, it was hard to come off it, was that these were GIs that were coming back into the perimeter, the ambush perimeter. But these weren't GIs. They were Vietnamese soldiers, and Stone was in the middle of his first ambush. Overcome with fear, he forgot everything drilled into him over months of military training. You blow your claymore, then you throw your grenade, and then only at the uh, last thing you do is reveal your, the source of your fire, which is rifle fire. I froze, I froze up. I was just couldn't believe that that was NBA. I always said that they'd be smaller. These guys were big with helmets, and they were moving at a clip right at us. Fortunately for Stone, another watch also spotted the threat and reacted. The next position opened fire on these guys. It was quick, of course, and it happens very quick at this point. I got wounded that night. My neck was bleeding, and I didn't know. It didn't feel too bad. I was just concussed and that kind of thing, but I thought I was a goner. Oliver Stone had been caught in the blast from an exploding grenade, but he was lucky, escaping with just a flesh wound. 20 years on, his personal knowledge of the conflict made Platoon the most realistic movie of its genre.